Hi folks, welcome along to another video. This is uh, Killaloo Woods uh, outside Derry and um, I'm on my way to another location. I just spotted these woods and it is a bit early for my other uh, my other location so uh, I wanted to do a nighttime uh, explore of another location uh, but I'm gonna have a look around these woods uh, uh, to see what's what's around here, you know, um, I often I often pass this location on the way to my other location, and uh, never spotted this really. And uh, I'm just here to have a look around. What's worrying me at the moment is every step I go, I'm just going downhill. Which means I have to come back uphill. But uh, so far, um, it doesn't look like a very old forest, to be honest with you. Um, it looks, um, it looks like it's just, it's just uh, covered in very, very young trees and a, a big variety of trees. So uh, just, just have a look around. Bit of, an, a bit of an adventure, folks. It's getting very, very steep right now. I have paranormal equipment in the car. I have my K2 meter with me, but I don't think, I don't think anyway, that um, I'm gonna pick up anything uh, down here because this place does not look old. It's getting steeper and steeper. Making it more difficult for me to get back up. More seats. Steps of some kind. Wow. Right, I've got a load of these steps that I have to go down, which possibly brings me down to the older part of the woods. Yeah, it looks more promising down here.
the patterns of the ivy on this tree. We're definitely down in the old part of the woods, folks. I've come to a, a river bank, which means I can't go forward, I have to go that way. Or that one. Damn it. I just off camera, I seen a kingfisher. I've never seen a kingfisher in my life. It's this just bright blue colour. The river is down here. And we have debris stuck in that tree. That was from the, the floods we had last year, which destroyed a number of homes and a lot of property damage, like bridges and uh, houses. And um, it was around this time last year. It was the 20, I think it was the 23rd of August. I'm still walking along the river here. I hear noises, I don't know what they are. They seem to be vibrating under my feet. Do you hear that? It's possibly animals burrowing in the ground, but I can feel a vibration in the ground right now.
I believe that that's vibration in the ground. Is this rapid that's here? Yeah, that's what that is. Down there is actually otter tracks. I've been sitting here for a while seeing what it is, see any wildlife about. But I didn't spot anything. I'm going to try and make my way back because I come down so far down into this this valley and this is where the old woods are but I'm concerned that I won't be able to make my way back and then I have to climb that hill again so um, I'm starting to make my way back Before I leave the area of the river, I just want to scan in and see if I can see anything up close. Off camera, I've been 
and asking the spirits to light up this box and communicate with us and I haven't had any responses but I have pins and needles in my hands and legs again so you know I feel like there's something there but uh, uh, the box is not being a success today I'm hoping I'm hoping I'm on the right track back I still have those pins and needles in my hands and feet. Um, a lot of the time when I uh, when I call out to the spirits and and uh, try and communicate with them, sometimes I don't get uh, responses on the equipment. I get more responses on my actual body, my hands and my feet, and I get this stinging pins and needles sensation in my feet and uh, hands and and sometimes my face you know but right now I'm trying to uh, trying to make my way back up Manage. I managed to get back to the steps, so I'm no longer lost, but I'm at the bottom of the steps, and I'm wrecked. I haven't even started climbing them yet. I've been sitting here for some time after uh, climbing that hill over there and up those steps and uh, my legs are in, in terrible pain but uh, I'm nearly at the top of it you know um, sometimes I do have well most of the time I do have issues with my arms and legs um, you know, exercise is good, but I think I pushed it too much this time. Didn't experience any paranormal, ex uh, any paranormal activity, but you know, it is bright. Uh, during the night time, it might be a completely different story. Um, either way, being down here at night time and the rustling of animals through the woods would scare the crap out of anybody so uh, it would be a scary experience but it's not a it's not a place that I would go down on my own in the dark because um, I could fall and get injured and I could get lost and um, you know it's too it's too it's, it's too out of the way it's too much. It's too much in the wilderness uh, to be on your own in case you come across somebody that's uh, not so nice, you know. But uh, maybe someday we will uh, uh, gather a team down here, or I'll bring one of my friends or something like that, you know, and, and uh, see what we can uh, come up with. Just making my way back up here now. The mountain ash, very beautiful at this time of the year.
just been sitting here for another little rest. I'm about 200 yards from the car. So uh, I'm going to finish the adventure for today. Um, my thoughts of doing three videos in one day, I, I'm still sort of thinking about it. I, I'm so, so near. My next location, which is one of the most haunted places in Northern Ireland, and uh, apparently very scary at night time. So I happen to uh, I have a venture down there, so um, I want to uh, try that try that uh, tonight. Um, if I don't make it tonight, I'll do it tomorrow, um, and that will be three videos in one day. Um, you see that the the, um, the weather here. Um, it's been raining a lot and that and uh, this is this has been a good day so and uh, you know I haven't been I haven't been well uh, but I decided to make the most of it today folks so hope you enjoy the adventure folks um, what I'm trying to do at the moment is to try and uh, have uploads uh, Sunday nights and uh, one during the week. Um, it poss possibly two. Uh, that'll be ch between Tuesday and Friday, um, excluding Friday night, um, because we look at. Um, I look at my my uh, analytics an awful lot, and I know which days is good and which days is bad. And for me, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday are the best days. Um, Friday night is a definite no no. Uh, Saturday night is another definite no-no. Uh, people go out at weekends, so uh, that's prob possibly um, the fallen numbers. Uh, uh, that's what possibly could explain the fallen numbers on Friday nights and Saturday nights. Sunday nights it starts to pick up, and then we're back sort of a little bit more normal on Monday, and Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday are the best. So I don't know what it is for you, but um, it is. I think it's very important to keep an eye on your analytics, and and um, um, it it will give you some sort of an idea when to upload and when not to, you know. But um, I'm going to leave it for now, folks, and I will see you in the next video. And as always, be good to each other.